objectives, what we expect is that we will be discussing about incidence and etiology of ectopic pregnancy, clinical approach, how do you manage a case of ectopic pregnancy. We will be seeing about the differential diagnosis and management of ectopic pregnancy. Gobiga, you can start the case. Uh, presenting a case of Mrs. L, 26 year old homemaker, hailing from Chembu Kavu Trishur, studied up to degree, homemaker, married to Mr. J, uh, 32 year old, postgraduate in commerce, working as an accountant manager. Uh, belonging to upper middle socioeconomic class, she is a gravida 2, abortion 1, with 6 weeks plus 2 days gestation. Her last menstrual period was on October 15, 2021. Chief complaint. Uh, complaints of lower abdominal pain and spotting PV since today morning. In many times when you uh, present a case, you may not be knowing that to say that 6 weeks, 2 weeks gestation. Uh, ectopic usually presents in a different way. So, you can only say that she is having a case of 6 weeks amenorrhea. You cannot have an established diagnosis of a gestation. Okay. About this, uh, presenting complaint. Presenting complaint. Patient presented with uh, lower abdominal pain, more towards the right iliac fossa and spotting PV since today morning. She was found to be UPT positive 4 days after missing period with a history of amenorrhea for 6 weeks and 2 days. Pain intermittent in nature and crampy in nature, no radiations, no uh, not relieved on analgesics and it aggravates on walking and it is relieved on lying down. This associated history of spotting PV and two episodes of vomiting. See, before going into the other histories, from the presenting complaint itself, see it's an acute case. Mm -hmm. say yes, a, a, a patient with UPT positive comes with abdominal pain. Yes, okay. Uh, if it's just an abdominal pain, what are your possibilities? Sir, uh, in a reproductive age group, uh, a sexually active female coming with a period of amenorrhea and abdominal pain, we should definitely rule and out. she is UPT positive. UPT positive. If she is UPT positive, positive. We should definitely rule out an ectopic. Ectopic. Uh, followed by a corpus luteal cyst rupture, like, uh, torsion. Uh, corpus luteal cyst rupture may not be uh, UPT, UPT positive. positive. So, yes, UPT sir. positive means there are only three diagnoses. Incomplete abortion. Uh, uh, it can abortion. be an abortion. Any abortion. See, yes, it sir. can be an abortion. It can be an ectopic or it can be a vesicular mole. Okay. okay. These are the three diagnoses if it is. See, for example, if the patient is, UPT is not done, okay. Yes. Uh, she is having irregular periods. Many yes. times uh, the patient may come without a period of amenorrhea, even an ectopic. Then what are, and the patient, what are the common causes of pain in a trimester? Uh, Six weeks patient coming with abdominal pain. Okay, she is pregnant. Okay, what are your other possibilities? Uh, other possibilities include a torsion ovarian torsion, cyst. Torsion ovarian cyst. Okay, torsion ovarian cysts are more common nowadays. Why? Because uh, this uh, in ovulation induction OH cysts and uh, it can undergo when the weight of the ovary it can undergo torsion. One is torsion. Mm -hmm. And you had told the other thing that uh, it can be a corpus luteal cyst, cyst structure. structure. Other things. Then there could be a, a hemorrhage into a cyst. Hemorrhage into a cyst because there may be corpus luteum. Into the corpus luteal cyst, there can be hemorrhage. hemorrhage. Then, then uh, it could be an it abortion. Can be other, uh, it can be abortion. We will come to it. It can be other causes like Acute a cyst structure, endometriotic cyst structure, related, gynec related causes, or uh, we have seen a torsion of a fibroid. Okay. Yes, These are all the acute, a pedangulated fibroid undergoing torsion. Okay. What are the non gynec related causes? Could be an acute appendicitis. Acute appendicitis. A splenic rupture. Splenic rupture. Uh, cholecystitis, cholecystitis. Simple gastritis. Very common. You did not say renal colic. Renal, uh, renal colic. Uh, okay. So, even an UTI or a renal colic, which is more common. So, when we discuss, uh, all these things should come in your mind. Yes. Because anyway, we are discussing a case of ectopic pregnancy. But in your exam, you don't get such a direct case many times. So, ectopic is there. That is your first diagnosis. This can be your possibilities. Indeed. Okay. Yes, we will come to it after some time. Okay. Menstrual history. She attained Malake at 13 years of age with 4 to 5 days of flow uh, in every 28 to 30 days interval. And it's regular with moderate flow and history of dysmenorrhea. Uh, what is the importance of dysmenorrhea in relation with uh, this uh, menstrual history in relation with this history? That is a patient coming with UPT positive. And what is the significance? Uh, so the period of amenorrhea, amenorrhea is very important. So you have to be ca uh, carefully taking the history. Say she may have missed a period. Even the next period, she was having regular periods. Next period may be only a spotting. She may spotting. tell that, okay, she is having a, a case. So, that is also the history is very important. That may not be a period. 
okay so implantation bleeding so many things are there in abortion so patient may be pregnant so importance of and the history of dysmenorrhea all these things in the uh, previous pid endometriosis there are, you should think about the causes also so pid endometriosis so many causes which are predisposing to ectopic can be ruled out from a medicinal history okay you can go to the next history a uh, marital history she is married for 3 years a non consanguineous marriage no history of any contraceptive very usage. important contraceptives uh, dr henna what you uh, about the contraceptive history and relation with the uh, ectopic uh, contraceptive uh, uses like uh, iucds uh, that is uh, intrauterine uh, uh, devices in that intrauterine which yeah. is the most common Co uh, that is uh, progestasset progestasset right. nowadays we don't use, use it. it and the advantage of marina over progestasset what we say is that the incidence of ectopic pregnancy is, is less. less that's it then and uh, that is property i already mentioned uh, and uh, even uh, sterilization because depending on the time and the, uh, the method of sterilization method there can be uh, sterilization failure as well uh, okay. uh, like using bipolar cord free uh, and uh, 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 bipolar cautery increases than monopolar Monopolar. because monopolar damages the tubes Tube. more that is only logic behind it so uh, bipolar means nowadays when you use uh, bipolar and sterilization techniques like we only cut a part of the tube only mm -hmm. so if you are only coagulating that part of the tube the, then fill she clips or so many things are there which can cause uh, when the very little part of the tube is being uh, excised damaged. or damaged mm -hmm. the chance of ectopic, uh, ectopic pregnancy is more actually what about implants any idea implants, implants uh, uh, not plants uh, can actually uh, there is a 30% the uh, chance increase so all these things have a risk of so you have to it's a contraceptive even to the other extent if the patient That's had undergone recanalization so it is considered to be recanalization is one of the most potential cause if you are maximum high risk if you ask you pid is the commonest cause for ectopic pregnancy but if you are asked the question is like this maximum risk is which that is a actually recanalized tube has a chance of rougher area yeah, the chance of ectopic is very high so whenever a patient has recanalized patient comes with and even a patient is sterilized also it has a very significant history so uh, the, many people think that sterilization is done there is no chance of ectopic but there is high chance of ectopic also okay uh, now uh, coming to past obstetric history uh, past obstetric history she is a gravida to abortion one first was an abortion at 6 weeks uh, of gestation age it was medically managed a past history what is important this obstetric history as well as uh, the if there's a history uh, of a previous ectopic, ectopic there is higher or, chance uh, previous ectopic five fold increase chance not only that see previous yeah, abortion, yeah. abortion what is it uh, previous abortion infection can go inside yes, so post, post sepsis uh, pid is considered to be the most common yes, cause yes, so this all this in obstetric past obstetric history as well as the past history is very important next slide tuberculosis that's it that is coming to it medical and surgical history she is a hypothyroid and thyroidum 75 microgram od no history of diabetes hypertension tuberculosis uh, pid no history of drug uh, allergies or uh, any history of any abdominal or pelvic surgeries yeah, in the what past what is uh, adulia can you just tell highlight about some problems in medical history which is more she has written but uh, something common in india it is tuberculosis, tuberculosis. Yeah, there so is, the genital tuberculosis it can have a Uh, tubal pathologies like a uh, isthmica nodosa kind of uh, pathology, which will cause adhesions. And do you know commonest consequence after a tuberculosis oh, patient becoming pregnant means maximum chance for an ectopic pregnancy. pregnancy. Okay, so they will ask you like that: a tuberculosis patient treated, she becomes pregnant. What is the consequence of pregnancy? Most of the this will be fifty percent will be ectopic uh, pregnancy. So uh, it is very important patients. and yeah. other. acute pid other causes are important so uh, all these things are very, and is to previous surgeries why because of adhesions okay good family history her father is hypertension personal history she consumes a mixed diet good appetite no sleep disturbances bowel and bladder habits regular everything is okay no habits or addictions history, nothing uh, significant uh, general physical examination patient Now we have a patient here Who has come with a six weeks amenorrhea? Yeah, yes. Come with a abdominal pain. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, not pain. much uh, significant drinks in the history is there. She has come with a spot abdominal pain, vaginal spotting, spotting. Amenorrhea. and amenorrhea. amenorrhea. Okay. Uh, now the general physical examination. The patient was comfortable, moderately built and nourished. Weight was sixty kg. Height one fifty five centimeter. BMI twenty four point nine seven kg per meter square. She had pallor, no ictus, clubbing, cyanosis, lymphadenopathy, or edema. thyroid breast and a spine appears clinically normal so extremities were cold. cold so here uh, significance is only in one thing 
because she is having pallor. Mm. So pallor, what does it indicate in an that ectopic? See, there is either a leaking sort of or a rupture. Really rupture. Okay. So we go for the examination further. A vital so pulse rate was 122 beats per minute. It and is a thready pulse. And pulse. No radiofemoral delay. BP measured in sitting position in right arm was 8660 uh, and respiratory rate was 22 per minute. <music>